Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Xenonauts with your host Tim. Remember, this is the community edition of the game, and I have modded this game such that the aircraft are have cheaper maintenance costs, that the refueling time has been reduced somewhat drastically, instead of about six or eight hours, it takes two hours to refuel our aircraft, and I have increased the minimum stats and reduced the maximum stats of all new hires we get in the recruitment area. Where we left off, we just completed another mission. I think it was up here in North Amer North Africa. I think that's where it was. I think it was with the American team on the Harridan. You know, I should come up with names of the teams. And we lost Barrett Mitchell to a to a horrible Reaper. Just round the corner, insta insta gib them, and then we had to kill him again. That just freaking freaking stinks. Also, at this point. Uh, know that I, just a few minutes ago, recorded and compressed down that injection that I did to part 19. And true to my word, at that part, I have adjusted the maintenance costs on the aircraft again. Condors, currently, are now costing 50000 Foxtrots are 60 Or Corsairs are now 70 as opposed to 35, 50 fit, and 50 and 50 for these. So we're seeing increased costs now for this. As I mentioned back then, I realized at this point that it's a little too cheap. I think the maintenance costs should be a little higher than what I made them. So I have done so. And I'm waiting for you guys' responses on that one. Which, of course, you guys won't see this video for like a week from now or so. Maybe even slightly longer than that. But thank you, I hope, for putting up with me and these videos. I hope, again, I haven't taken away your entertainment by by modding the game a bit. I hope, I certainly hope I have not done so. It was not my intention to do so, at least. Alright, so what else has been going on? So, Crusa Crusader Cassandra, you've asked to join in, and so have you in Tropino. So I, both of you guys want to be a rifleman, so I am waiting for riflemen to show up, as it were. Alright, riflemen tend to tend to die, just like my assaults and shields do, as, as, a heads, as a heads up, but you probably will survive a, li a little better than those assaults and shields, since they are right on the front line. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to losing to losing a named person. Not at all. And of course, if you do die, and you want in again, you'll just have to come up with, with a different name for your second character. So in Tropino, we'll have Uthis, Crusader Kuchanza, we'll just name you Crusader Kusandra when we get someone in. I forgot to mention, by the way, that over here in the Gorgon HQ, I began working on another radar station. So seven days more till that's done. And in two more days, we'll have this living quarters completed, at which point I'm going to be hiring eight additional soldiers for over here to give me something to defend this base with. This way, if our laser batteries don't shoot down the alien UFO, we have a chance to kill the aliens that show up in the base. This squad is going to be outfitted a little well, no, they should probably be outfitted the exact same way, but they're probably just going to be holding a position from the enemy. What if the enemy actually wins by destroying certain areas as well? Like, I wonder if they end up in here and they destroy my aircraft, assuming they're in there. I I don't know how that will work for a base defense. I guess we'll, guess we'll find out together when that happens. And how's everything else looking so far? So, our research is still excellent on directional thrusters. Looks like we'll be able to build a new drop pod soon. Officer interrogation is going good. For construction, we still have five days left on that on Jackal armor over here in America. And the Corsair Interceptor is taking another four days to build our first one over there. And we don't have any crews over in Gorgon. I've already named, renamed people that we've got, but I didn't have any riflemen come in. I think that I'm happy with. I'm still, yeah, I'm still waiting on two riflemen over here, for example. I think I'll make those two the new recruits. So let's let's just accelerate time. We're waiting now. Directional thruster array. Extraterrestrial craft are fascinating for many reasons, not least their extraordinary maneuvering ability. The fighters dance through the air like graceful ballerinas, and even their ponderous capital ships can hover in place and turn far more quickly than their size should allow. It seems the recovered directional thruster array explains how this is possible. The device consists of a central brain and a series of... 
I can't pronounce it. Rotable thrusters mounted outside of the ship's hull. These thrusters were clearly originally designed for maneuvering in a vacuum, but during atmospheric flight take on the combined role of wings, stabilizers, and elevators. An outer shell of tiny flaps, each able to provide tiny amounts of vectored thrust, allows an immense amount of control over the output of each individual thruster. Collectively, a network of a dozen or more of these thrusters gives a aircraft the ability to perform some fairly remarkable acrobatics. Though this system is hardly energy efficient compared to conventional flight control systems, alien craft generate enough power that it is not a problem. The brain is an oval structure roughly the size of a car engine. It contains a crowded arrangement of sensors and dense mass biological electronics that we believe automatically stabilizes the flight of the UFO based on the incoming sensor data. Unfortunately, this biological brain would be too complex to replicate, but it may be possible to substitute it. Automated control systems for spacecraft have been around for almost 20 years, so I imagine with a little time, my team would be able to adapt and improve the existing designs to create something capable of controlling a few of these thrusters. We may not be able to create a system as elegant as the extraterrestrial one, but even a basic solution could dramatically improve the performance of our interceptors and dropships. And we get the Shrike dropship. Okay. An advanced dropship with improved speed and the capability to, uh, sorry, the capacity to carry additional soldiers into battle. Oh, I really... I really want plasma weapons, and I wouldn't mind having wolf battle armor. We're going to start needing that soon. But I, I wouldn't mind having two more trips, and I also wouldn't mind having this tank. Oh, it's frustrating because I want all of it, and I have to pick one. So let's go for the let's go for the drop ship, and then we'll go for the tank. When the inter when the interrogation is over, we'll throw that group onto the wolf battle armor. And then pla plasma weapons. Okay, done. Oh, let's save the game as well. We just did. I'm not muted. We just did this, this on screen. Yep, losing funds. Going to lose a lot more than that. We'll probably be down to a, a hundred thousand, if that, by the end of the month. It's going to be rough because we need more armor and better l weapons as well. The storeroom and the living quarters have been completed over here in Gorgon. It is time to hire soldiers. These soldiers will not be sent out. They are all going to be privates. Their whole job over here, at least at the moment, is just to hold this base. Maybe later on, if I have the funds, I might build an extra hangar and another dropship over here. But I'm not anticipating doing so. Alright, so we want to hire some people. I would like eight people hired. That's going to be an extra 40000 a month, but I really want them. So let's see. Do I have enough someone for heavy weapons? Not really. But Patrick, you'd come along. Let's think here. In fact, I guess you two would be hired as a rocket and or two heavy weapons guys. Two machine gunners. I would want... Probably. Do I want shields? Do I need shields in the base defense? I have no idea. We'll hire Hunter Turner. <laughs> That's an interesting. Sounds like a 80s rock star. <laughs> uh, let's take Emma Evans. She has good reflexes. This guy has good reflexes and good accuracy, too. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven and one more. I'm gonna hire I'm gonna hire all these people. I want someone who has a lot of bravery. Done. Alright, they'll come in, we'll give them we'll give them gear. Welcome board defensive squad. If we get a tank, we can build a garage. like if I like the Simidar tank, we can build a garage over here and use it to help help us out as well. I would imagine we can fit, like, more people than just our away team on base defense missions. So far, I'm happy with just eight. So, yeah, we're basically getting a million two hundred thousand so far. 
at the end of this month. We've really increased the cost of things. And it's not going to end there either. Because I want another Corsair. Corsair, by the time we're done here. Hey, Torse was fully repaired. I forgot that he, it took some damage. Juggernaut's got two soldiers in it. Who were these people? Let's look for the privates. It was... Oh crap, they'd be riflemen. Anthony and Gregorgios. Alright, you all right, you two. Let's take a look at you. So Oh wait, I want one Crusader Cassandra. I want you to be over in America. As one of the new hires over here. Violet Jenkins will be you, I think. So over here then. Entropio, you asked. Wait, I'm getting confused. This is a um... Oh, that's America. Over here's what we want. Alright, so let's go to our people. And we'll look at our privates who are unassigned. So, which of these two Entropia would be good for you? You want to be a scout. So you would need good... You would... Uh-oh. Did I take away some armor from someone over here when I did that? I did. I hate how that works. Alright, so one second. So, Anthony, you're going to have basic armor. And Leo Francesco, you'll get back this armor. Make sure, I also want to make sure everyone over here has got the armor. Whoa! ASD, ASD! You are really overburdened. Let's drop a bunch of stuff off of you. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Crap. Back over here. Okay. So, oh man, and Mr. Pendrake, I want you having armor as well. So, Mr. Powell, we're going to take away your armor at the moment to give it back to Mr. Pendrake. Let me make sure everyone else... I think the way this works is this is saying that two people who are unassigned have armor. And I could give it to someone over here if I so wish. But everyone over here has armor on them. So I'm good. I think that's what this 0 plus 2 means. None are available, but two people who are unassigned have it. That way if I go over here... Yep, that's what it means. Okay, finally understand. Ten people who are not in the unassigned category have it. Like when on the right just fallen. Okay, so... Let's make Gregorios Karis. You, Uthis. Private Uthis. Oh man, you look like a you look like you're ready to kill someone. Look at those angry eyebrows. Uthis angry brows. And we will add you to the righteous fallen, I think. Do I where's my rifleman? Yep, let's so Mr. Francis Assisti will be unassigned. And Uthis, you will be assigned. We'll get you some experience right away. Hopefully you don't die instantly. I'm so sorry if you do. You've seen, by now, you've seen what happens to us. So you're, you're aware that both we're fighting horrible creatures. Reapers are nightmarish. And in addition to that, uh, I'm not very good. So the combination is likely to get you killed off very quickly. And may I just say, I really like how the... The poles here is in darkness all the time. Like, look how long night is now. That's frightening. That is terrifying. Okay, Chimera HQ. Looks like you're here, Cassandra. Miss Violet Jenkins. Oh, you're a redhead. Crusade... Crusader... Cassandra. Welcome aboard. Okay, we've got armor over here. We have extra... Actually, we have extra armor as well. We can start giving all the armor to all the people. Oh, wow. You guys don't have any armor? All right, let's give you jackal armor. Who's unassigned? Actually, so... All right, hold on, hold on. So we want a rifleman over here to take some time off. So... Michael Jenis, your lieutenant, will give you some time off. And we will assign Miss Cassandra. 
And I can tell that three people over here... I would like everyone to have armor who's going on the away missions now. So we'll be taking it from random people who are still in the base. And how much more are we producing over here? Th only three. Alright, well that would be good enough to start. I will eventually want everyone to have normal jackal armor as their basic equipment. Oh! Let's also make sure that Crusandra you have all the gear you're supposed to have. Because sometimes the game doesn't actually give you the starting gear. Oh, Mr. Houdini, you're actually overweight? I'll drop a gas grenade. Oh, it's when I gave you the armor that happened. You gotta be careful, because I think the percentage to fire, it takes your potential, your maximum TUs to account when it comes up with that number. Uh, let's... Mm, we'll go with this for you right now. We have a sniper with us, and he's... Ca oh, they normally carry an extra, extra rocket. Let's give him one. Alright, that's good. Let's save the game again. So we just done some renaming. I don't want to do that again. Pass by some more time. December. It's definitely not over yet. How's my aircraft looking, by the way, over here? Good. 100% life over here. 100% life over here. Oh, man, look at the Corsair. Looking pretty awesome. Have to hope only mediums hit Juggernaut. Oh, holy crap. Speaking of a medium, there's one right now. Both my Foxtrots will go and get it. Oh, God. Okay. I need to destroy that group. We've got two condors and a foxtrot over here now. They should be able to take out that group. And the other one over there, too. Let's intercept them. Let's send both foxtrots and a condor at that one. But we're going to take squadron three and select a target out over here instead. Let's tail to overland. Engage. We destroyed him. We turned to the base. And I'd like to hit that location. So I'm going to wait until it's closer to dawn. This group will destroy that one. And we turn to base. We gain two alien alloys from the fighter craft. You guys will select a new target and go over here now. Actually, you're going to have to go in this direction. Um, I only want one of these locations. I want. I only want to hit one of them. I'm going to hit this crash site. It's a farm. Actually, I need to pay attention to that. That's a farm. What's this one? Medium farm. I'm just going to blow this one up. Airstrike it. Get some cash. Okay, let's go. We're just going to shoot this one down. I'm not going to wait till it's over land. Auto resolve. Head back to base. Oh, hello. Something's happening over there. I don't have a means to get over there, though, unfortunately. Something's happening in Greenland. That's a shame. It's going to affect America's liking of us. Let's pass by more time. We can send out a group over here and try to find them. Let's do that. So, launch interceptors. I want them to go over here. Let's send both the Foxtrots. It's an abduction. So it's not going to be fighters, I think. There he is. Intercept you with the Foxtrots. to resolve that. Return to base. Now we have another location to attack with Chimera. Let's advance time again. How long will it take me to get here if I intercept this location? Three hours. So we still gotta wait more time. That's good. Intercept with the Righteous Fallen. This location? Ten hours. Go. It should be dawn by the time you guys arrive. 
Oh, wait, there's stuff happening in South America, too. Crap. All right. Uh, let's launch interceptors again. Down here. Nope, I can't. Chimera's still refueling and getting ammo. Let's wait till it tells us what's happening there. Oh, God, there's it's a bombing mission. It looks like. All right, they're fully operational. Let's launch. I want to go down here with my Foxtrots. Okay, Crash Site 33, here we go. It looks like it's dawn, so I think we're okay. If it's not, I'm going to reload the game and just patrol for a, a tiny bit of time. I don't... I kind of wish that the ETA, in addition to telling me how long it took, would tell me actually what time I'll arrive if I launch right then. It should be completely possible to do so. We would know what e the ETA... This is a night mission, isn't it? Do I have flares? No, it's, we don't. All right, it's not. Good. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, I didn't adjust my, my deployment at all. Oh, no. Oh, wow, that's really awkward. I don't know what I'm fighting, and I'm not set up for it. Crouch. I kind of want someone to go in there. We have more of these hedgerows around as well. Odin, let's crouch you. You'll just face forward. Mr. Schmidt, don't do that, person. Thought you were an alien. Let's get in here. Go around a little bit and crouch you. I don't like having only 17 left, so Glib Proknos to Innovav will sit outside. Leo Francesco. I want you having enough to fire if need be. Let's go here. I also want everyone out of the UFO. Probably should have someone going around the back, but I also want more people in the front. Let's shield the front some more. We'll be good. Private Uthis, Angry Brows, welcome to the squad, sir. I hope you don't die instantly. I don't want to run on any grass. Let's run you up here. Oh, making noise. I don't want to throw smoke grenades until I know what we're fighting. Maybe I should still throw... No, let's still throw a smoke grenade this way anyway. If it's when you have the TUs, I do not. Do you have enough TUs on you, Nikolai, or do you not? You do not. You do not. Odin, you should. Let's throw it here. That provides cover from, for you guys. And lots of cover, for, I think, comes around the corner there. Kenneth Richardson, you're my sniper. Let's move you up and crouch you. Joe, you're going to take some cover like this, and that will be good. Oh, God! Oh, my God, Reapers! Oh, they're right... Oh, God. I need to kill it. I need to kill it right now. Because it's right here. Oh, man. What am I going to do? We need to go around the corner and just slaughter it. Can we move around the corner this way? Yes, we can. Go. I need it dead. I need it dead right now. We know it's in here. 14's not enough for a snapshot. Can you throw a normal grenade at it? That was a hit. It's gonna have to... Gonna, oh, why is it... Oh, 16? Got one. Thank God. Smoke grenades, we now know, are also useless. They are completely useless to us.
good. We know where he is now. How can I hit him, though? I can't from this side. How much is it for you to throw a smoke... Oh, you threw your only smoke grenade. How much is it to throw a normal grenade? 50. I'd have to hope you can throw it over everything here. You can, but not far enough. I hate Reapers so much. So very much. Mr. Prognost, let's move you up and out over here. Schmidt will turn you. So there's nothing this side. We can run you inside with this. If I fire, you can't fire over the hay barrels, but they're also blocking any shot meant for you right now, so that's fine. I'm worried about a Reaper just charging out of here, but I don't think it would have the movement. If it's right here, it would totally have the movement to come and charge us, so I don't really want to stay here either. Let's use all this cover that we've, we've got to help us out in this location. Joe, can you throw a smoke grenade? Probably not. Nope, 53 to you. Uh, Mr. Richardson, how much is it for you to throw? I like to save that person, but there's no way we're going to run our sniper all the way up there. And that he'd have the TUs to spend. So, Kenneth, you'll check the back of, the sh of this for me. I don't think there's going to be any anything else back here. Nikolai, that's a very smug-looking face you've got there. <laughs> okay. Let's move... Let's move Harold, Mr. Pendrake, up to the window. And we'll move Nikolai here. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Killed your brother. Mr. Pendrick, move up. Turn. Crouch. Suppress him. ASD, A oh, ASD, ASD. I gotta be careful with you. There's Reapers around. We might be safe up here. Wow, look at the old shotgun. Farmer shotgun. Unfortunately, if I take it, you'll be over overweighted. So we'll just drop you down. Odin, you're going to move up and crouch. That provides us with some reaction fire. Nikolai's going to look at the street for us. I don't know why he decided to run all that way. Probably because I wanted him to. He's out in the middle of the open there, but that's also useful to letting us know if there's an alien over there. Mr. Schmidt, I wouldn't mind you having enough for an aim shot. But you will have to remain standing to do so. Mr. Prognost, let's move you up this way. Turn. Mr. Leo, can I run you all the way back here? We can. If the Reaper comes down and kills those two, we're doomed. Because that's going to be two more Reapers. And I can't do anything about that whatsoever. I'm going to run through the window. 
I'm gonna peek out. Joe, I'm gonna run you back over this way. And that will end our turn. We have another Reaper. So, oh, I'm sorry, we have a Reaper and we have a zombie. Okay, Nikolai, we're going to move you back to join us now. I don't see anything over there. I don't know where they are, and that makes me really nervous. I don't see any open windows. It killed a civilian. It could have technically killed a person in here, and it's right behind us now. It could have done that, actually. Oh no, do I want to look around in here? Uthis, I need you to look around in here. Make sure it didn't eat that person. I'm sorry, Uthis. I'm so sorry. But I need you to find that person. You may end up dying for the squad to keep the rest of the squad alive. I want enough points saved that I have a chance to have reaction fire. And I need space between everyone. Of course, I'm got, I have to hope it doesn't come behind me. Like, I need a space between everyone, so this way it has to use more movement. So I need to move up. Mr. Pendrick, you can move up this way. Oh, come on. That sucked. All right, Mr. Schmidt, we're going to move you up. And then not have you do anything else. You're going to crouch. Oh, come on. I don't see the grass. Not, now the aliens know where I am. I don't see any door. Oh, there is that a door? I can't tell. I don't think so. Oh, no. Okay. It's just a Seblian. Still dangerous, of course. It heard me making a lot of noise. I don't think we can throw a grenade at it. No, we can't. It's 50 TU to fire, Joe. Can you possibly... It's a snapshot, but it might work. Let's try putting it here. Nice. Nice hit. Very nice hit. Oh, God, it sounded so freaking close. Oh, man. Where? Where is it? Where was all the grass? Is it here? Oh, man, where is this thing? I don't see the person. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it behind us? Where is it? Oh, God. I want to get on the highway. And stick on the highway. Check behind you. Nothing there. Mr. Pa... Nikolai, you're just basically gonna die. That's all there is to it. You're out in the middle of nowhere. Where is it? It could be in any one of these spots, too. Oh, 
damn it. I am so afraid. I'm gonna use you to look around. Of course, no, don't make lots of sounds. No open doors. I don't see it. It's not in the building. It's not in the building. So. That doesn't help me at all. I just, I don't know where it is located, though. Oh, it could have been, no, it's not there. We had, we had vision there. That sounded so close, though. That's enough for a snapshot. Fuck, no, still move up. Joe, you'll reload. You're gonna check behind us? I don't see anything. You'll continue to look behind us. Yeah, I don't see that person over here. Which means to me that it's, it's behind us. Mr. Pendrake... Of course, we hit the grass. Well, we're gonna move you up to here. Not really enough to take it. Oh, that's enough to take a snapshot if it comes at you. A single bullet's not gonna kill it either, so. There's no real reason for me to have Schmidt. Joe, you might just die if it charges the corner at you. That's good. It's down there. Oh god, there's the zombie. If I just throw a grenade, you're dead. Because it's just gonna be... Come... No! Ah! What? What happened there? You don't have the TUs to... Oh, God, you don't have the TUs. Oh! No! Oh, you're you're dead, Nikolai. You're dead. You are you are one of them. The best thing I can do is get out here. I can't. I'm gonna save the game, everyone, and I will reload if that one zombie is actually one of them because I can't tell because the game looks like it bugged. So this thing might have the movement actually to run up here and grab you too, ASD. ASD. I'm gonna hope it doesn't. Let's move further up. Here. I know it's behind you, Mr. Schmidt. You. I don't know quite where it's located anymore. Darn it, I should have just had him face it. What's your accuracy? 54 with this? Alright, Joe. We're gonna move you up here. You can throw a grenade over the side if we have to. I still don't see it. Mm -hmm. 
And we've killed, what, two Seblians as well? So there's probably a third out here somewhere. Let's move you up here. Oh, it sees you now. Can you throw a grenade at it? No, of course not. Enough for a normal shot in case it rounds the corner at you. Yeah, Joe, your whole job is to throw a normal grenade over at the side. Maybe actually we can knock it out? Though I don't I don't think we'll be able to. So all it will take is just one of them coming around the corner and downing you with suppressive fire, and then you're really screwed. Because you, you're going to have two zombies down here. Uthus, we know it's not here. Can we get you sneaking up behind it? I hope so. I'm very nervous, but we're going to try this. It doesn't know you're here. There's the person. He's hiding in the corner. Odin, we need to get both of my heavy weapon squad team up here, facing down for this to work. And that'll do it. Of course. Please no one panic. Pendrick's bleeding, but he's he'll survive. Okay. So how are we doing this? We gotta we gotta kill all of these this turn. A normal one of these grenades may not be enough to kill it. This is what this is what you're gonna do. With this, please hit it. Good. That should do it in. Next. We've got to gun down this guy. Next. We need to destroy this zombie and then sh kill it in short order. If I move you here, 23 is enough for a normal shot. That's fine. Kenneth, you're, a, you're our sniper. Let's just see if we can... Oh, I'd like to pop it. You have enough for a snapshot, actually. No, you don't, because you have to turn to do so. ASD, ASD, you and Kenneth will probably be able to down this one. Oh, awesome! Nice work. Awesome work. We're going to throw another normal grenade. We have to move you here. How much is the throw? 36. No, nope, that will not work. No. I can't do anything with you. And it's too far away for me to run anyone else up. So I have to hope. I have to hope this grenade kills it. Because Uthis, you're doomed otherwise. Run, or could just run up here and get multiples of us. Run you up here. Prognosed. Leo, how much have you throw one of your grenades? You don't have the strength. It'd be 35. No, you don't have the strength. Alright, let's just end our turn. Oh, thank God. The combination of you coming out from... Oh, I forgot you're taking five damage a turn. Right, Mr. Schmidt. Let's move you up and heal. And that cured the bleeding. Excellent.
there's usually not a third on a downed UFO. I've only seen two of them around. I'm hoping that's going to be the case. Casey, I want to check both sides. Excellent. Let's move you up here then. Face down here and crouch you. Mr. Pendrake, I'm going to run you up. I'm very glad it didn't kill us with its two shots. It missed point blank. Stinks, I lost I lost a new shield immediately. But, oh well. You know, it's, it's better than losing someone who's named after someone who wanted to be in the mission. And it's better than losing one of my experienced soldiers. Uthus, I want to save enough for an, a burst with you. Moving you up. Looks like there's an opening in the hedge down that way, so we're going to take a peek. Yes, there is. That will be good enough. Joe, you're going to come down this way as well, because I want someone to open that door for us. Of course, watch, a, watch one of them just run around the corner and go, Rrr, and just eat me. <laughs> Stupid Reapers. I'm going to lose a person every time there's a Reaper around here, isn't there? But I should have checked behind me to begin, to begin with. I knew there was a Reaper around. Maybe it was in this area, and it ran out this way. Yeah, because it got behind him. He was here, and this is where the Reaper was. So it... Maybe, Uthis, you just luckily missed it when it was up in this area, and it charged... No, because it made a zombie. So it must have, there must have been an entrance down this way that it went through to get you. Alright, let's move our sniper. Sure, that's a good spot for him. All the way up. Give me some vision down there as well. And this is the opening I was hoping for. Uh, I don't want you being out in the open. You'll move just here. Odin, you're going to join the rest of this group. And that'll do it. Yeah, they're peeking through the door, but they're not moving out yet. I don't want to move someone into the grass. That would be a huge mistake. Joe, we're gonna run you up. This is where the person was converted. Right there. Shield, let's move you. ASD, ASD, where do I want you? Your shield's intact. That will be good. Mr. Pendrake. I love to move him up more, but if I do that, they'll run out and fire. I want... I want my assault up here. Mr. Schmidt, let's move you actually here. We can get around the UFO. There could be another Seblian or Reaper back that way, though I'm not expecting there to be one. Yeah, let's move you up here, Mr. Pendrake. Good. We can run him all the way on the other side of this. Good job, Mr. Sniper. Odin, you can probably... Yeah, you have tons of movement. We can do the same with you. This is when a Reaper runs around here and converts both of them. <laughs> I get really, really angry. <laughs> you do not have the TUs to run all the way up here. Prognost, you'll move over here. Or Prognost? I don't know how to say strength in Russian. That's what I... That's what his nickname is. Uthis, we're gonna run you up now. everyone 
Good. They don't know we're here. I move you here. You have enough for a normal shot. And ASD, ASD can open the door. But we're going to open the door the classic way. It took the hit like a champ. It's wounded, though. Look at all the, the blood near it. Let's get ASD, ASD up here. So we can move Leo behind. You can shield him. Joe, we don't need you out in the open anymore. We can move Odin. He needs 66 to fire. So if I move you out of the way, Kenneth. You can probably move here, turn. Can he shoot here? He can. We can do some reaction fire if need be. Let's crouch you. Can I, you're going to go here, turn, and crouch for an aim shot if necessary. It's the Prognost to move up. If he runs out this way, you'll hopefully blam him. And Uthis. The officer would have to run around the corner, run up here, and lob a grenade. For it to hit you if I move up, you up here. Can I move you over this wall? No, you can only reach it. Let's move you up a little bit. Let's move you there. Mr. Pendrake, let's get you further up. And Mr. Schmidt. You have the movement to run on the other side of the UFO. Let's do so. That's good. No alien symbols showed up. We're doing really well. Save the game. Yeah, losing a person when there's Reapers around just doesn't surprise me, so... Let's throw a... Flashbang in here. I don't know if there's one in the corners. Oh, you know what? We can just check the corners. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a flashbang. Mr. Schmidt can actually do so. How much is it to throw with you, sir? 48. Quite what I wanted. Prognos so about my second assault. We don't have a second shield. It became a horrible, horrible nightmare creature. Mr. Pendrake, you will move up into this position. So I have. Actually, can you shoot in here from there? No, you cannot. Well, no. That is a huge mistake, Tim. He is wounded. Don't want to lose a major. Joe, let's reload. We're going to be having you blow a wall open next turn, I think, if I'm lucky. Uthis, let's run you up to join this group. ASD, ASD we're going to have you shelve your pistol and take out a flashbang. End our turn. Now, I have never tried this before. I'm going to try now. I don't know if I can break whole walls down. I'm assuming I can, though. Let's give it a shot, literally. Oh, yep, that's fine. It missed. Thankfully not hurting our other troops. Downed, you have a one downed door. And I'm nervous about moving you in any further than this ASD ASD. Let's 
Nope. You resisted it at least. And you're probably gonna die now. Yep, the fire's in the way, so that's probably it. We can move everyone up and hope for reaction fire. Let's try that. That was awesome. The reaction fire actually killed one. ASD, AC, let's get you out of there. You can heal yourself. Phone's going off, everyone. I'll have to check it. Yeah, it definitely is. Darn it. Let's just move you out, face you up here, and crouch you. Joe, we're gonna move a different type of rocket in here. Moving you up. Shot one so far. Let's sure you should be safe here. Actually, the fire should should block its vision to you. Let's end our turn. Oh, it didn't open the door. Okay then. The fire's gone out. Mr. Schmidt, let's take a peek up in there. Oh, nice. One power core is still intact. Uthis, you're gonna do your scout thing. Open this door for us. Wow, he's hiding over here. The only spy I don't have vision to. Oh, it could be behind the door here, too. not there. You would have heard him hiss. Okay, then. We know he's up in there. I really don't want to destroy that, but I need to know where he is, and I'd rather... Actually, do we have a flashbang? How much does it throw this? 35. There he is. All right, not bad. One of the civilians survived. We watched as one was the local forces were gunned down, and our civilian was converted into a person. Nothing we could do. A person, a not person, a reaper. ASD, ASD, good job on your kill with that pistol on the horrible, horrible reaper creature. Mr. Pendrick got two kills and is injured for five days. You're injured for six. We have a few corp corporals, lots of extra stats. That's fantastic. So we're getting better people, and this time we just lost a private. Sorry, Nikolai Pav Pavlov, you're out. I now need a, no a new shield, so we'll be hiring another person for this squadron. Okay, well that'll do it for us, everyone. Thank you for watching. When we get back, we'll end up at Christ Crash Site 35 and do that one on screen. Oh my god, it's terrifying. Alright, well, I'll see you guys then. Take care.